Roar! I had a bad dream last night. I dreamed that I died and went to hell. When I got there, I was met by the fallen angel. I said, no, 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 this can't be right. Why am I here? The angel said, you're here because we rebelled against God. Rebelled against God, I said. What does that have to do with me? Why am I being punished for that? You don't understand, said the fallen angel. We're not here to punish you. You're here to punish us. Sheesh! God gave women monthly menstrual cycles and labor pains as a punishment for their original sin. As a punishment to men, they have to listen to their wife's complaints and griping. That's why God hates homosexuals. They found a loophole. I am in a very serious relationship with my boyfriend. Yes, very serious. We haven't laughed in two years. What do you call a lawn ornament that moves from your house to the neighbor's house and across the street and all up and down the block? That's called a nomad. I had a co-worker that bet me $100 that I could not name two things that would hold water. I said, well, damn. I always get a kick out of learning where words come from, learning the history of words. For example, the word centurion comes from the Roman word centaur, which means 100. And a centurion was in charge of 100 soldiers. The word decimate also comes from the ancient Latin word deca. Deca means 10. The word decimate to the ancient Romans was a punishment that centurions would deal out to disobedient troops where they would execute one out of every 10 of their troops, thereby decimating the population of their troops to punish for crimes. I thought about that word decimate long and hard, thinking there was some joke or some play on word I could make out of that. But in the end, I had to give up. I was unsuccessful. There is no pun intended. That's all, folks.